Hi there, I'm Mac McQuaid. I want to film another update of my do-it-yourself vacuum chamber that's made out of this Schedule 40 PVC pipe with an end cap and an automotive uh, valve stem. Now, what I did before is I machined out an end cap like this so that it would easily fit on that, on that cylinder. But lots of folks don't have uh, a lathe to do that. So I thought, well, maybe there's another way to make this work. So, what if you had just a flat surface of some kind that you could put this gasket on? So I thought, maybe just a plain old dinner plate that's got a flat surface. That gasket kind of in the middle of it. Then we could put our vacuum chamber on top of it, and it should pull a vacuum. So let's try it. There's an empty quart jar and a used flat. We'll put a standard ring on it, real loose. And I'll put that right in the middle of our gasket. Now we'll take the do-it-yourself vacuum chamber, we'll center it on that gasket. That should work. Let's try it. So we take our China vacuum pump, we'll hook it up to our valve stem, which is just a plain valve stem off of, like you'd have on your automobile. By the way, it takes a half inch hole drilled in your pipe. So let's try it, we'll turn it on. Kind of wait for the pump to say change sound. Let's see if it works. Wow. Now the pumps change sound. Let's turn it off. If you listen carefully, you should be able to hear the vacuum release. So far, so good. Acts like it's sealed. Let's see how tight it is. Wow, that's really on That is really solid. So, there's another solution. You don't necessarily need a machine cap. Dinner plate or something else that's similar, that's flat, and some kind of a gasket that'll seal the bottom ring of your of your pipe. So there's another solution. Hope this helps. More later.